Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is the general reading for the first week of June. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'll lift the that button. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. I do upload weekly. Let's see what's coming on here for my Cancers. Cancer, we have a follow your intuition with the owl and then dreams. Okay, Cancers. It is time for you to really start to pay attention to dreams at night. This is, if you have been dreaming, pay attention to your dreams. If you haven't been dreaming, you're going to start dreaming. This is dreaming. Again, Owl is a, a messenger of night. Really pay attention to what you're dreaming at nighttime, to what things you're putting out. Look, I went directly to dreams. So I'm going to read this to you. Believe in your dreams. Believe in yourself and reach for the stars. You have the courage, patience, and passion within you to make a difference. When you have a dream, only you have the responsibility to make it real. Dreams are never free. It makes time, energy, and sacrifice to create the real reality and live your dream. It also takes preparation, determination, and effort. Never compromise or surrender your dreams. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Oh my God, this is like me, myself, I'm a cancer. So I've been, you know, I just did a painting of um, dreams of like elevating through dreams. So this is crazy that this is coming out. And with the owl here, follow your intuition with the owl. Owl is also one of my totems. Uh, so I don't know if it's one of your totems. It's just saying you hold within you some kind of qualities and traits of the owl. You may have fine tuned your intuitive abilities that sense of inner knowing. You may have become strong-willed, perspective, perceptive, and wise. Learn from the silence of the owl spirit, which offers lessons of stealth and poise in our everyday lives. If you're about to take on new business venture or let go of some part of your life that are no longer relevant, it is important that you become more observant. You cannot fool the owl, as he is aware <clears throat> of his surroundings at all times. With this message, you can follow your goals to prosperity and heed these qualities to live the life of your dreams. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Absolutely. So really pay attention. You know, what words are you using? What are you seeing in your dreams? What are you seeing in your waking dreams? What do you dream of? What is it that you want to have? What is it that you want? This is too many. What is it that you want to experience? What is it that... Um, you know, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Again, it's saying really pay attention to your dreams. We have the card of Krishna and we also have the card of Freya. Um, so this is in regards to phases and in regards to cycles. So you're going through a cycle right now like the moon. This is the mystery and magic, really understanding it. There's endings. There's parts of your life that is ending. Again, a lot of dreams, dreams, paying attention to your dreams. There are messages that are coming and this card is saying there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Yes, so it's showing you where you've been blocked, what what um, wants to come to its natural death so you can have another beginning. Devotion, trust your spiritual guidance, your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Yes, and it is Krishna. Krishna is coming to say uh, you know, they hear you and through this, there's a phase and that you're going through this phase of transformation and devotion and, um, and you're being commended for that. So it's saying for you to really recognize that, recognize that things that are coming to its natural and really trust it, trust the things in life. You know, what habits are coming to its ending right now? What is the card that I was, I wanted to put these away. It's so funny. So, so many beautiful cards here, but Isis came into my fingers. So, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Again, you know what? I'm just going to put these aside, but here it is one more time. And I'm just going to say it to you one more time. You have a lot of cards here that are in regards to dreams, like just about every card besides Krishna. And Krishna here too. So, that's the third eye, which is awakening your inner third eye. You're awakening your dream. And I said, Krishna, so it says you have a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that's coming through. Your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognized. It might feel as if you've been on a mental, emotional battlefield, but there are sweet messages of hope around you now. Krishna is here to boast your sense of connection to the divine and encourages you to act from your soul 
if a decision needs to be made, ask yourself what honor your soul and those around you. If you can choose the best for all involved, then you will feel even closer to the divine. Again, a lot of messages here. So going through this natural ending and with the, the ending of one cycle closes, so one old way closes and it's time for new experiences in whatever that's in regards to your dreams. Here with Isis, it, it is, Isis is a strong, smart, focused Egyptian winged goddess, according to the legend, was able to move from darkness to light between the underworld, heaven, and earth. And here it is saying you are moving into a space where your dream reality is becoming your outward reality. Wow, look at this again. This is an extremely powerful time and it's vital to keep focus on the highest good of all. You no longer want to relieve your own history, relive your own history and or feel unsupported, unacknowledged for once you were. How you have changed that situation around is a powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with universal abundance. Discipline and commitment are important now. Consider that you're moving between worlds. When you daydream or create visions and bring life-enhancing ideas into reality, magic is manifesting all around you. This is exciting. This is incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible reading. It's so crazy because I just did a painting of um, a body leaving a body, like soul traveling, and then the moon. So it was a dream within a dream. This card wants to come out. Look, it's tower. Don't fear. This card just came out. I believe for Virgo. So this is don't fear the change and don't fear the night. Allow things to crumble. Allow that old shake up, that old foundation of the way you used to dream, the way that you've thought about yourself, about your own reality. And yes, look at this. This is closing one life and opening another. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the high priest that listen to your intuition. The high priestess too is between realms. It's between worlds. So going between the worlds listening to your psychic abilities, to your intuition, to your dreams. Again, to your dreams. And this card too is coming out and saying, listen to your dreams. And the, and in regards to this card is coming out and saying, you know what? It's time. It's time for you to close one world and see to a different world. With phases, did I even read this too? Let's go to this card really quick. <clears throat> Because the world is when we close one cycle and enter, and it's perfect with Freya, right? Freya uh, <clears throat> it comes and says, it's time for you to do that. So this is a phase of your life maybe coming to an end. But it's important to acknowledge it's not the end. When one door closes, another opens. You may have been um, desperate for change, but now that it's here, you could feel vulnerable. Know that mighty goddess Freya will guide you. Illusions are now being re revealed so that you can leave behind anything that is false step into your peaceful warrior like energy and welcome the change tie up all loose ends and take action this is exciting time and we clearly see that your foundations are about to crumble the way that you live life is about to change where you live is about to change pay attention to your dreams pay attention to everything that's coming trust your intuition right now trust trust it what is meant to be yours is yours and it's not going to be taken away and here make that this is that fellow didn't want to come to and this is literally pushing open open the darkness and seeing a new dawn why because this is your path this is your dreams this is what you see for yourself what do you vision for yourself what do you dream about what is it that you are manifesting what is it that you're not settling to you have devoted your time now it's time to break yourself open wow absolutely powerful let's grab a couple chimes here and make peace, making peace with anyone in our life right now. Making peace is the way to go. When we make peace with the life we've lived, we can now step into this beautiful new reality. Dolphin, be playful, take breath, grow the ocean. It's time to play, it's time to dream. Again, dolphins are breath and dream. So another end music, elevate yourself. This, with music is is elevating us. So whatever, 432 hertz, um, 532 hertz, 419, whatever hertz music you listen to, but listening to bringing in all those things. So you want to listen to music that's about manifestation. You, you don't want to listen to sad, sad music. You want to listen to music that's about manifesting. Okay. So let's grab a door. Let's see what door is opening up for you. Let's see what door is coming. Okay. Morning memory. And this says, in healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn 
our inspired source. <clears throat> Meditate under the sun. Okay, so its healing gift runs a destined course, the morning dawn, our inspired source. And again, from this dreaming state, waking up and really watching the sun and you're awakening to a new day. Really, this is what to me is saying is a morning memory. It's meditating under the sun. The sun is very powerful. It's very rejuvenating. And the sun is all about beginning and it's beginning a new day, a new dawn after what? The sun. And here we have fertility. Let your life burst forth with the seeds of creation, sacral chakra. You guys are starting cancers. We're starting something new here. Allow it, allow it to happen and really go with the flow and make magic happen through your dreams, acting as if your dreams are your reality now. Until next time, sending you much love, much light. Namaste.